Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing well. You must have seen from the thumbnail and the caption which recipe I'm gonna share today. So before I share today's recipe, I have a small little story to share with you about this dish. I had tasted this dish a few months back in a restaurant, but obviously I didn't know the name of that recipe at the at the dish at that point because it just said prawn curry. And I loved it so much. The texture, the tanginess, the entire curry was so good. Oh my god. That I started to dig or research to find out what exactly the gravy was. So over time, I forgot about it. And now, a few days back, I saw a reel of the same curry on Instagram. And I thought, wait. It rang the bell. And I had tasted this recipe before. And it was really good. So I started doing some research to find out what the name of the recipe dish was and uh, <clears throat> what ingredients go into it and after doing my bit of research i tried to create the same dish at home and to my surprise it turned out so good it tasted so absolutely amazing the creaminess the tanginess uh, the prawns in it you know once they are well cooked it tastes so divine and heavenly in curry when i tried I was blown away. So you have to try this recipe. Watch the whole video till the end. Try it for yourself and let me know in the comment section how you like it. Heat some oil in a pan. Add half teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, half teaspoon mustard seeds, a few curry leaves, three slit green chilies, and once they're fragrant enough, add two sliced onions. Once the onions are translucent, add half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Saute well until the raw smell disappears and then add two chopped tomatoes. Cook until they are mushy and then you add half teaspoon turmeric powder, half tablespoon red chili powder, half tablespoon coriander powder, half tablespoon of Kashmiri lard milk and one teaspoon of pepper powder for extra spice. Add a splash of water to prevent the spices from burning and cook them really well. Once well cooked for 2-3 to three minutes, you have added the heads and whole prawns together. Mix and coat them really well and let it cook on a medium to low flame for around 4-5 uh, to five minutes. After 5 minutes, add 1 cup of concentrated tamarind water. Mix well and cover to cook for another 5 minutes. Then goes the main ingredient which is coconut milk. So here I've added one full can which is approximately 2 cups of coconut milk. Mix everything really well. Add some salt as per your preference and adjust the consistency with some hot water if needed. The luscious and rich Kerala prawn curry cooked in creamy coconut milk and aromatic spices is ready to be served. Enjoy it with some steamed rice and fried prawns, pickle or any other side dish of choice. So hope you liked and enjoyed this recipe. This is another curry which I absolutely loved. Even my husband loved it so much that he has asked me to prepare it again in bulk this time. So you have to try this recipe and let me know your reviews by commenting down below. If you like my video, then don't forget to like, share it with your family and friends. And if you feel connected with me, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the family. I'll see you all in my next video with another interesting recipe. Until then, take care and stay safe.